I'm just gonna grab a very fluffy brush and just dust that off. Yeah, I really thought that would work. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today, I will be showing you how to achieve this holiday makeup look. And you can choose between two lip combos. I did a red one and this nude glittery one right here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. I will be naming all of the products I use down below as well and my social media so you guys can follow me there. Now, if you guys would like to see how I got this makeup look right here, then just keep watching. Okay, so to begin, I'm going to be priming my eyelids with a concealer. Now, using this crown brush palette, I'm gonna be using this Farah blending brush. It is 35E, and I'm just gonna go into this light brown shade from the palette. And I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. Next, I'm gonna be using this shader brush. So the brand is R&L Moda, and it's an Emma 19 brush. So it's a smaller fluffy brush. I'm just gonna use this shade that was below the light shade we just used and place it right below that light brown shade. I usually dip my brush back into that same color maybe three to four times just to get the right intensity then I always go back into the first brush I used and just blend it all together to intensify it even more i'm gonna use this shade over here it's like a burnt orange type shade and i'm gonna use this luxie brush it is the mini tapered 121 it's this little fluffy one and i'll focus it more on the outer corner but i'll still bring it in For the outer corner, I'm gonna use this one right here. It's like a deep reddish brown shade. Well, actually, I'm gonna mix these two together. So I'll mix these two. This one's just like a deep brown. So I'll mix those two with a Luxie 131 mini angled brush. Now for the lid, I'm gonna be using a pigment. So it's an it's an eyeshadow, but it's a loose powdered eyeshadow. It's from Steve Laurent. It's in the color Antique Olive. It's kind of hard to open this freaking packaging. So I was this like thing on top, so it doesn't go everywhere, but.
got it, got it, got it, got it. Finally, after 10 hours to apply the pigment, I'm gonna use this Alamar Cosmetics brush. I don't have a name to it, but it's just a flat brush. It's like a concealer brush almost. So I'm gonna dip into the pigment, just grab a little bit, and I'm just gonna place it all over my lid. So there will be fallout, as you can see, since it is a loose eyeshadow, but that's fine since I didn't do foundation first, then this isn't a problem. Then I'm gonna grab the small fluffy brush that I used, and I'll just slightly blend out the top. And then to intensify the outer corner, I'm going to go back with the angled brush. But I'm just going to use a red shade over here since I want to make it more holiday, Christmassy. So I'll just use the red one. Since it is a holiday look, I am going to be using some fake eyelashes, but first, mascara. So I'm going to add this Superhero from It Cosmetics just so I could give the eyelashes a better foundation to sit on. I'm going to be using these Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. I don't think it has a name. So it's these beautiful lashes. I rarely ever use fake eyelashes, so I kind of suck at the application, but I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see how that goes. And I'm gonna be using this Strip Lash Adhesive Glue. So I'm gonna add a very thin layer of glue. Then you just wanna let it sit for a little bit so it gets sticky, like a minute. Then I'm just gonna use my fingers to apply the lash. So now we're gonna go onto the face. You guys have already seen how I do my face. So I'm just gonna fast forward you guys through this step. I was using this Aesthetica P12 brush. For bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is in the shade Dulce de Leche. So using the darker shade and this small ankled brush, I'm gonna grab the loose powder and my damp sponge and I'm gonna just carve where I wanna put the bronzer. Grab the big brush and blend everything together. So for blush, I'm gonna use the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. I used to use this brush, I mean blush. Oh my God. <laughs> I used to use this blush all the time. It has kind of like a glow to it. It looks like that. So I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics 109 brush. No, 
now for my under eyes, I'm gonna use the Luxie 141 Mini Round Brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade, the light brown and this darker one that we used. So I'm just gonna mix them and put them on my lower lash line. And for the outer part, I'm gonna mix these two together. So for my lower lash line, I'm gonna be using a nude eyeliner. So what a nude eyeliner does is it makes your eyes look bigger, it opens them up more, so that's what I like since I have small eyes. For the inner corner, I'm going to be using this Pacifica Rainbow Crystals Highlighter. So I'm going to use the Luxie 111 Mini Flat Angled Brush. For highlight for the rest of the face, I'm gonna use. I'm actually gonna try something I've been dying to try. These Cover FX glitter drops in the shade Nova. So I've been dying to try these. I'm just gonna put some where I would highlight. has a lot of glitter for me i don't really like my highlighters being glittery i like them to be more metallic looking i don't think i'm gonna be using that again for highlight most likely for maybe inner corner highlight since that's fine if that's glittery but for my personal preference i don't think i'd use it again on my cheeks or on my nose but i mean it looks pretty good as you guys can see it's very shiny when you look up close, it's just very glittery. But finally, for lips, I have two different color combinations that I wanted to try out with you guys. The first one is more of a nude combination. I'm gonna use this Jordana lip liner in the shade Baby Berry. On top, I'm gonna use this matte lip mousse by Julep, and it's in the color Petal. I'm very much of a more nude lip kind of person. I'm really liking this lip. That's the first combo. So I'm gonna use this Jordana lip liner in the shade Plush Plum. top of that, I'm going to be using a matte ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Bichette. So I did think the color was going to be a little brighter, but whatever, it's fine. So this is the second color combo. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on this holiday look. And please let me know what color combo you guys prefer the most with this look, whether it be this red one or the nude one. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more. 